So this is the large ballroom downstairs at the Cascade Grill at the Oregon Zoo. This is only half of the space. If you break down those walls, it goes through and adds more space to the ballroom. Maximum capacity in here is 450 seated. Um, and most of the events that they do in this space are um, usually proms. They've only just started doing uh, weddings this year in 2015. They've had four so far, and overall they've had uh, 12 events this year, so about eight corporate events and four weddings. And uh, like I said, this space is generally used for proms. That's something that they've been doing for a while and have a lot of. So um, next video I will be taking you upstairs and showing you the wedding space. So this is inside at the Oregon Zoo Cascade Grill. The maximum capacity for the venue space, including both the indoor and the outdoor space, is 160 people. Um, in the case of a DJ, we can set up both indoors and outdoors. There are different power outlets throughout the space. I won't go up to the walls now because there are a lot of people eating here but I've checked the space and there are basically power outlets along every wall. So on the side, on the back, as well as, you can see one there, as well as around this corner here. In the past, they've had a DJ set up where you can see these high chairs facing out. There are also many power outlets along the food area there. And next, I will take us outside to take a look out there. So this is the outdoor space at the Oregon Zoo Cascade Grill. They have several power outlets all along the um, railing around the deck. So really you could, as a DJ, set up in any section. So there is power, you can see along here, power on this side as well, as well as along this back wall, so you can see there's a power outlet there, as well as right there in the middle of the screen, and one more along this wall, just behind in the middle of the screen right now. And then um, they do sometimes set up cafe lights up here. There are plenty of power outlets, so that shouldn't be a problem. There's plenty of outlets so that we're not plugged into the same one. There's also power outlets here. So really our options are pretty open. There is a Wi-Fi in the space. There's an open network Wi-Fi, which is the uh, or, uh, it is the, let's see, the Zoo Guest Network, and there's no password required for that one. If on the day we have any trouble with that network, we can um, use their specific closed network, which is the uh, Zoo Air Network, and that password can be uh, requested on the day. So this is the Oregon Zoo parking lot. There is no special vendor parking. Parking is just um, as you see, and you do have to pay for parking. It's uh, 160 an hour, or I believe uh, for all day, it is six something. I'm not sure um, about evenings, but it looks like you have to pay for parking from at least 9.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. For vendor load-in, um, so right now I am at gate G. So if you have a large setup, which in most cases shouldn't be the case for us, but if you have a large uh, bit of equipment and several rounds to go, you can come through uh, gate G and that will take you to the uh, bottom level of the Cascade Grill and you can take a service elevator up to the space. Otherwise, for vendor load-in, you can pull up to the front of the zoo, which is about 100 feet up, and um, you can, uh, I'm told, uh, park very quickly and uh, load in, but I believe you have to go in first 
and ask and let them know that that's what you're doing. Um, so that's the case there. And in a moment, I'll take another video and show you the quick route to the Cascade Grill. Okay, so this is the zoo entrance and for events at the Cascade Grill, you can just come on through this main area. The Cascade Grill is just to the right of the entrance. You can see a sign just in front of us there. So if you're loading in, as long as you have a cart, it shouldn't be too bad from the main entrance. So these are the main doors to the indoor space that I showed you earlier that connects to the outside area. And here again is the outside area. And just as a note, they do have an in-house speaker system, but it's not something that they um, rent out or have anyone use because it's not um, anything that they recommend playing music on. 